have been struggling with input delay in Fortnite and want to improve your reaction times, you're in the right place. In today's video, I'll walk you through some essential tweaks and settings that will help reduce input lag and get you playing at your best. Whether you're an experienced player or just getting started, these steps will give you a smoother, more responsive gaming experience. Wait, if you are new here, don't forget to subscribe and hit the like button. Let's dive right in. First, we're going to optimize your keyboard data queue size, which plays a crucial role in reducing input delay. Start by opening the Windows search bar, typing registry editor, and running it as an administrator. Once the registry editor is open, paste the following path into the address bar. H key local machine, system, current control set, services, KBD class parameters. In this section, locate the entry labeled keyboard data queue size and double click on it. By default, the value is likely set to 100. Here's what that means. If the value is set to 100, your keyboard can queue up to 100, 100 key presses waiting to be processed. In fast-paced games like Fortnite, where you frequently spam movement keys like W and D for edits or quick actions, these queued key presses create input delay as they wait to be processed in sequence. To reduce input delay, lower the value to something like 65, which decreases the buffer, meaning fewer key presses are queued and processed faster. This adjustment can significantly improve responsiveness. However, lowering it too much might cause some key presses to not register properly. To find the optimal value for your system, start with 100, then test in increments of five like 95, 90, 85, until you find the sweet spot. Ensure you keep the value in hexadecimal format. For many users, 65 works best, but this might vary based on your setup. Once you've entered your desired value, Click OK and close the editor. Next, while you're still in the registry editor, let's disable prefetching, which will help reduce background disk activity, speed up SSD load times, and lower RAM usage. Navigate to the following path. H key, local machine, system, current control set, control, session manager, memory management, prefetch parameters. Locate the entry labeled enable prefetcher and double click on it. Change its value to zero, ensuring it remains in hexadecimal format, and then click OK. Disabling prefetching minimizes unnecessary processes that can interfere with system performance. After completing both of these changes, close the registry editor and restart your PC to apply the settings. Turning off enhanced pointer precision can greatly enhance the accuracy and consistency of your mouse movements, which is vital for gaming performance. To disable this setting, open the Windows search bar, type mouse settings, and press enter. In the settings menu, locate and click on additional mouse options, which will bring up a new window. Navigate to the pointer options tab. Here, you'll see an option labeled enhanced pointer precision. Simply uncheck the box next to it to turn it off. Disabling this feature ensures that your mouse movement remains consistent and directly responsive to your physical input, making aiming and quick actions in games much smoother and more reliable. After unchecking the box, click OK to save your changes. This small adjustment can have a noticeable impact on your in-game performance, giving you better control and accuracy. Disabling unnecessary services can significantly improve your PC's performance by freeing up resources and reducing background processes. To get started, search for Services in the Windows search bar and open it. This will bring up a list of all the services running on your system. To disable a service, locate it in the list, right-click on it, and select Properties. If the service is running, click Stop and change the startup type to Disabled. Once done, click Apply to save your changes. Repeat this process for each service you want to disable. Start with services like Assigned Access Manager Service, Disable it, and Disable BitLocker Drive. Encryption if you're not using BitLocker, Disable Bluetooth support service unless you use Bluetooth devices such as a wireless mouse. Other services to turn off include connected user experiences and telemetry, diagnostic execution service, diagnostic policy service, geolocation service, net logon, parental control, print spooler, fax, remote desktop configuration, and Windows biometric service. For gaming optimization, you can also disable all Xbox-related services unless you specifically use them for party chats or game recordings. Now guys, you'll need to download the Fortnite Zero Input Delay Pack onto your PC. You can easily get this pack with just one click from my official website. Once you've downloaded it, extract the files to your desktop and open the folder. 
Inside, you'll find several subfolders, including Best Reg Pack, Windows Commands, Fortnite Priority, and others. Let's go through each step to make the most out of this pack. First, open the registry folder and install all the registry files one by one. These files will tweak your system settings to enhance performance specifically for Fortnite. Once done, go back to the main folder and open Windows Commands. Inside, you'll find important command files related to critical Windows settings. Run these commands one at a time to apply these optimizations. Next, open the Fortnite Priority folder. These registry files are designed to adjust how your CPU prioritizes Fortnite. If you're on a low-end PC, use the normal priority file. For mid-end systems, choose the medium priority option. And for high-end PCs, apply the high priority file to maximize performance. Make sure you select the appropriate file based on your system specs for the best results. Finally, go back to the main folder and open the optimization tool folder. This tool include additional utilities to further optimize your PC for Fortnite. Follow the instructions included with tool to get the most out of your setup. By completing all these steps, you'll see noticeable improvements in your game's performance and FPS. Let's start by optimizing your system using ISLC, Intelligent Standby List Cleaner. First, open the program by double-clicking on the ISLC .exe file. Once the program launches, you'll see a configuration window. Begin by entering 1024 in the first box. Next, for the second box, you'll need to input half of your total system RAM. You can find your total memory displayed in the top left corner of ISLC. For example, if you have 16 GB of RAM, input 8192 MB, which is half of 16 GB. Now move to the Wanted Time Resolution field located on the right-hand side. Set this value to 0.5 and delete any other existing values by pressing the Delete key. Once done, enable the Custom Time Resolution option by checking its box. Next, scroll down to the ISLC Polling Rate section. If you're using a high-end or medium-end system, set this value to 500 mmHz. For low to medium-end systems, adjust it to 1000 mmHz for optimal results. To clear the memory and activate ISLC, click on the Purge Standby List button. Then, click the Start button to enable automatic standby memory clearing. Once activated, ISLC will quietly run in the background, clearing your system's standby memory whenever it nears your configured limit. After everything is set up, minimize the ISLC program to let it work in the background. By completing these steps, you'll reduce system lag and enjoy smoother performance, especially during intensive gaming sessions. To get started with Gear Up Booster, download the tool from the official website using the link after downloading, install it on your PC. Once installed, you'll see the Gear Up Booster interface. The first thing you'll need to do is log in with your Facebook or Google account. On the Home tab, you'll find all the games installed on your PC. If you go to the Games tab, you can browse thousands of games available for optimization. To optimize your network and FPS, return to the Home tab and select the game you want to boost. For example, I'll select Fortnite. Click the Boost button and the tool will begin optimizing the game. It will automatically find the best server for you. Next, you'll need to choose your server region. Select the nearest server for the best connection. In my case, the middle server works best. After selecting the server, close the window. Now go to the Not tab where you'll see a list of servers available in the Middle East. Choose the nearest one or let Gear Up automatically pick the best server for you. I recommend setting it to Automatic for the best results. Finally, close the window and launch your game using Gear Up Booster. This will help you optimize. For Another effective way to optimize your system is by disabling unnecessary apps that run on startup. Open Task Manager. By right-clicking the taskbar, then go to the Startup tab. Review the list of programs and disable those you don't need running immediately after startup, like messaging apps or third-party updaters, by selecting them and clicking Disable. This tweak reduces the load on your CPU, speeds up boot times, and improves overall system performance, especially during gaming sessions. Disabling background apps is a great way to improve system performance and reduce unnecessary resource usage while gaming. To do this, search for background apps in your Windows settings and turn off the option that allows apps to run in the background. This will prevent apps like game bars, co-pilots, 
and other non-essential processes from consuming your system's resources during gameplay. To further optimize your system for gaming, enable or disable game mode based on your processor. Go to search bar and type here game mode and open it. If you have a Ryzen 7 or higher, keep game mode turned on for better performance. For older or less powerful processors, turning game mode off can prevent unnecessary overhead and improve overall system efficiency. Next, make sure to turn off game bar and captures in your settings. These features can create unwanted background processes that increase input delay and consume resources. If you want to record or capture gameplay, consider using NVIDIA GeForce Experience instead, as it offers better optimization for gaming without compromising performance. Let's do some in-game settings to get minimum input delay in Fortnite. Playing in full screen mode is essential for minimizing input delay and ensuring the smoothest possible gameplay. Next, switch to performance mode under the rendering settings to optimize your game's visuals and FPS, particularly on lower end systems. For audio settings, lower the audio quality to low to save system resources and improve game responsiveness. Finally, turn off visualize sound effects unless it's essential for your playstyle, as this feature can add extra load to your system. Once all these settings are adjusted, restart your PC to ensure the changes take effect and enjoy a smoother, lag-free gaming experience. So, guys, that was today's video. Hit the like button. Make sure to subscribe. Peace out.